the all-time best Molson ads part one. G'day guys, how's it going? My name is Ozzy Tash. This video was suggested to me by St. Giles Lander on YouTube. Cheers, mate. We're looking forward to having a laugh. But before we do, please make sure to jump on, hit that subscribe button. That would really help me out. Okay, let's just get into it. The first clip, I'm a Canadian, the rant. Let's go. Hey, I'm, uh, I'm not a lumberjack or a fur trader, and I don't live in an igloo or eat blubber or own a dog sled. And I don't know Jimmy, Sally, or Susie from Canada, although I'm certain they're really, really nice. Uh, I have a prime minister, not a president. I speak English and French, not American, and I pronounce it about, not a boot. <laughs> I can proudly sew my country's flag on my backpack. I believe in peacekeeping, not policing diversity, not assimilation, and that the beaver is a truly proud and noble animal. The tooth is a hat, the Chesterfield is a coach, and it is pronounced Zed, not Z, Z. Canada is the second largest land mass, the first nation of hockey, and the best part of North America. My name is Joe, and I am Canadian. <laughs> Thank you. Awesome X Light, the light beer with taste. <laughs> There's an unwritten code in Canada. If you live by it, chances are you've left your coat on some pile and knew it wouldn't get stolen. You've never made a move on your buddy's girlfriend. You know that on a road trip, the strongest bladder determines the pit stops. You've kept all your hockey trophies. You've replaced someone's pint if you knock theirs over. If your buddy's in trouble, you've got his back. You clap for the dancer even though she shouldn't be a dancer. You've used a blowtorch to curve your stick. You've used your arm as an ice scraper. And you've grown a beard in the postseason. This is our beer, Molson Canadian. So I hear you're from Canada. Yeah. I How's know. it going, eh? <laughs> Do you want a donut? <laughs> I thought all they had up in Canada were uh, lumberjacks and curlers. <laughs> is there running water up there? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> New dude beauty. <laughs> so your sister's grown up. What's she doing these days? She just started law school. Good. She can hook me up with some legal advice. <laughs> There are friends, and there are Molson friends. So, Steve, you ever get that rash under control? <laughs> so you're from Canada? Yeah. Do you know Glenn from Canada? He works in an office in Canada. He plays hockey. You know, he says A a lot. <laughs> of course, Office Glenn. He's dead. Oh. <laughs> I am Canadian. I love that bit in the commercial where, you know, he's talking about hitting on his friend's sister and then he talks about the rash. <laughs> he's totally just messed any chance up for him now, hasn't he? <laughs> I'm loving these clips. They're so funny. Sorry about the, the camera quality, the picture quality. Obviously, some of them are very old, but man, they are really, really funny. Absolutely loving it. Hilarious. Code in Canada. If you live by it, chances are you've driven an hour for 19 minutes of ice time. You've been to a bar that starts with Mick or ends in Anigans. You appreciate a woman who's into sports. You'll call anyone with goalie equipment a friend. You know what a J-stroke is. And sometimes figure skating is worth watching. You know the sippy cup lid isn't as dumb as it sounds. You've worn a canoe as a hat. You've assembled the barbecue. And they're not dense, they're goals. This is our beer, Molson Canadian. Now coming in over center ice, the pass on the wing, busting in on goal, he shoots, he scores! <laughs> the 
bringing the roof down. Oh, baby, what a goal! Hey, guys, look what I found. Beer, 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 bubble, beer, 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 bubble. <laughs> when we get together, just me and all the lads, everyone remembers all the fun we had. Cause every time we gather, there's plenty of good cheer. Imagine finding meat! That calls for a bubble, beer. Introducing the Molson Bubba. 14 bottles of beer, big and perfect for any occasion. Canadian, please. Ooh, Mr. Canadian. Mr. Canuck. <gasps> Where's your pet beaver? Oh. <laughs> I'd like half a bottle of Golden. A half bottle, sir? Of Molson Golden. <laughs> Lord, I won't believe this, but there's some weirdo over there who wants a half bottle of Golden. <laughs> and this gentleman would like the other half. Sir, would you like the top half or the bottom half? You're smooth, son. Smooth as Golden. <laughs> Come on, now spit it out. Come on, spit it out! Spit it out! It's here. A light beer you won't want to give up. Canadian Light. <laughs> oh, I remember the day when a fly would go into your beer. What do you do? Do you take it out? Do you take the fly out and keep on drinking? It's a tough choice to make, isn't it? Going back to one of those videos, do you guys plow the snow and make an ice hockey rink? You know, get the plow out there, smooth it off, play some hockey. In Australia, we make cricket pitches. We just use the lawnmower and, yeah, we mow ourselves a cricket pitch and we're playing outdoor cricket in the backyard with our own homemade cricket pitch. <laughs> I am loving these commercials. They are so funny. When that dude was giving him a spray about the beaver, where's your pet beaver, eh? <laughs> it gets him out and he starts gnawing his neck off. <laughs> oh, I love these ads. They are so funny. For the first time ever, the United States has become the first nation to walk on the moon. Houston, I'm just going to try and get this golf ball. Listen, I can't play today. I'm really sick. <coughs> you too? We're about to play Canada! I can't. I'm sick. Gotta go. Good luck. <coughs> 36 percent of Canadian hockey fans think players should be allowed to have more liberal curves on their stick. That's cool, man. We agree with them. Oh, no. That's not cool. Uh, where's the cane, mate? It's here, and so good you won't want to give it up. Canadian Light. <laughs> Found it. Hey, I didn't see you on the Typen from yesterday. We had the jacket off. Give it to me. I had to say a moment, yeah, but. 
So he says, let's just scale the wall. It's not that high. <laughs> he was wicked, mate. <laughs> she sang badly, but everyone loved her. They couldn't stop cheering for her. Going on. <laughs> the next thing I know, the drunk, we better let go in. Everyone went up, right? I'm going to see you again. 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 And the best part is, she wasn't even from Dublin. Where was she from? From Canada, Tom. He was Canadian. Canada, Tom. Canadian. 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 Best night of my life in Botswana. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that was the part one. I absolutely love that. Let me know. Leave a comment. What happens there in Canada when you guys get on the Canadian Molson beer? Leave a comment. Let me know. <laughs> I love that suggestion. I'm so excited for part two. Had a great laugh. Hope you did. If you did, please jump on, smash the like button, leave a comment, and remember to subscribe. That would really help me out. Cheers from down under. Take care. Bye.